persons. This morning, God will be speaking to us on what he titled the hand of the Lord. The theme of the year. We want to look a little, we want to dig a little into it. The hand of the Lord. So media, please, let's go. The hand of the Lord. And our passage will be taken from Ezra chapter 7, 6, 7, 8, and 20, the last verse. And we thank our elder, Elder Solomon, for reading so well. Verse 6 of Ezra chapter 7. This Ezra came up from Babylon. Take note of that word. This Ezra came up from Babylon. Hello? Hello? Anything the issue? All right, thank you. Open your Bibles, and then if you can read on the screen, that will be fine. This Ezra came up from Babylon, and he was a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. The king granted him all his requests according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. Somebody say amen. amen. Verse 7. Some of the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites and singers and the gatekeepers and, and the what? The net what? The net what? Network. And, and the netism came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of the king. Verse 8. And Ezra came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. Give us verse 10, 9 and 10. On the first day of the first month, or he began his journey from Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month, he came to Jerusalem according to the good hand of his God upon him. Verse 10. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it. Please take note. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach the statutes of and the ordinances in Israel. So he had a reason for leaving Babylon. He wasn't going nowhere. He wasn't returning to Jerusalem for nothing. He wasn't. Give us the last verse, which is verse 28. And has extended mercy to me before the king and his counselors. And before all the king's mighty princes, so I was encouraged as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me. And I gathered leading men of Israel to go up with me. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Let me steal my note. I don't want to be tempted. Let me steal my note. Please note these two things. Number one, media. Let's move. When the hand of the Lord is upon a person, the person's hand alive becomes productive. The testimony of Ezra was that the reason I succeeded was because of the hand of the Lord upon me. And we're saying, when the hand of the Lord is upon a person, his hands and life becomes productive. You can't carry the hand of God and not succeed in the hand in the work of men. You can't carry the hand of God and write exam and fail. You can't carry the hand of God and do anything and it does not succeed. It's not possible. No. Ezra was saying I succeeded because of the hand of God upon me. The hand of the good hand of God upon me was the reason for my success. And we're saying, child of God, if this year is our year of the hand of the Lord, then as Ezra succeeded, we ought to succeed more. We ought to succeed more. So when the hand of the Lord is upon a person or with a person, the person's hand and life becomes productive. Number two, thing to note, is when the hand of the Lord is upon a life, 
no other hand will succeed against such a life. <laughs> Ezra had a journey and the journey was safe. Why? The hand of the Lord. When we are talking about, about, about preservation last Sunday, we said preservation is safety despite attacks. Preservation is not, is not void of attacks. No. In the presence of the attack, in the presence of my enemies, he prepares a table before me. And so we know that we live in the wicked world. We know that we work in offices where there are wicked bosses. We know there are witches and wizards. We know there are armed robbers. We know that they are everywhere. But don't be mindful about the armed robbers. Rather be mindful about the hand of God that is with you. Because if the hand of God is for you, no other hand will be against you. If the hand of God accompanies you, no other hand will fight against you. When God opens a door, no devil can shut it. When the hand of God opens a door, no hand of the devil can shut it. When the hand of God opens a door, no hands of boss and no boss can stop it. That when the hand of God is being with you in that journey, there's no devil that can stop it. When the hand of God is with you in the labor room, you will deliver safely. When the hand of God is with you as you are driving, you will drive with drive without accident. When the hand of God is with you, the arm robber that we am that we disarm and rob you has not been born. When the hand of God is with you, your marriage cannot cannot break. When the hand of God, when the hand of God is upon your life, it doesn't matter who is against you. There is no hand that is stronger than his. There is no hand that is mightier than his. If you have the mighty hand of God, then other hands bow. The hand of the Lord. When the hand of the Lord is upon a life, no other hand will succeed against the person. No. <laughs> the Bible says that God sits in heaven and the earth is his footstool. There's no God with a longer, long, there's no long leg. Longer than that. So when you are looking for long leg, you already have long legs. Is it I don't know? <laughs> yeah, you are looking for long leg. But your God sits in heaven and the earth it is full soul. His leg from heaven is resting on earth. And you are looking for a long leg. No. Stay with a God that has the longest leg. If the long leg of God is with you, you don't need the long leg of man. Because the, when you compare the legs of man with the legs of God, the legs of man is toy. 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 <laughs> You are looking for Godfather, child of God. Instead of looking for Godfather, why not stay with the Father God? Why not stay with the Father God? Because we stay, when you stay with the Father God, the Father God will connect you to a father, his son, another son on earth that will help you. Child of God, don't run after men. Run after God. If the hand of God is with you, no man will say no. The Bible says, I went to the king and the king granted me all my requests according to the hand of the Lord upon me. You may not like my height. You may not like my state. You may not like my person. But I carry the hand that you cannot refuse. You may be frowning and giving me the money. You may be frowning and blessing me because there is a hand upon me that you cannot fight. There is a hand. There is a hand. That's an. That's an. That's why there's no witch. Go and tell them they know me. No witch will bury me. That's a hand. That's a hand. I am conscious of that hand. That's a hand. I sleep. Witch pass over my roof. Two things will happen. You are buried or you repent. If you are one, try it. Pass over this roof. You know, if you, are, if you are sure of your charm, you talk about it. Eh? Abi? Abi? Try it. <laughs> 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 so 
say, 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 I'm afraid. For some of you that you see cockroach and you are afraid, you see what gecko, you are afraid, you see lizard, be delivered. You are not saying, what? What are you afraid of? Cockroach, cockroach, it's out of. Just cockroach, the cockroach. There's nothing in the cockroach. If there's anything in the cockroach, just see the cockroach as normal cockroach because of the hand. The Bible says, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. And it's talking about two weapons, spiritual weapon and sp sp physical weapon. You know, you and I cannot see the spiritual weapon, but there's a hand. There's a hand upon us. And so when the spiritual weapon comes, there's a hand. There's a hand. It is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Who are you to dare? I is my apple, the apple of my eyes. Who are you to dare him? Who are you to dare her? And then as I shoot the arrow, the hand of the Lord, as I make the incantation, the hand of the Lord, as I carry your picture to the shrine, the hand of the Lord, as I take it to Indian temple, the hand of the Lord, the hand of the Lord, the hand of the Lord, when the hand of the Lord is in place. The hand, let me see my note. <laughs> Now, what is the hand of the Lord then? I don't see on my note. That's why I don't preach. I teach. Because if I have to preach, I may say on one point for one hour. What is the hand of God? Number one, God's presence with a man. And the Bible said, the Lord was with Joseph and he prospered. He prospered as a slave. He prospered as a prisoner. He prospered as a prime minister. The hand of the Lord, the presence so what is what does it mean for someone to walk with the hand of God? It means that God's presence is with a man. And child of God, when God's presence is with you, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. God's presence with you means when God is with you, as God, you are going with God, God is leading, you are following. You know you can't lead God. God will lead you, right? God, you, don't, you can't lead God. So any bullet that comes is God first. Are we together? Any opposition that comes is God first. Are we together? And then if you have to open a door and you approach the door, any door that cannot resist God, that door cannot resist you. So your only is just to follow, 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 follow. As you open the door, you enter. And as anything cannot reject Jesus, it cannot reject you. <laughs> So, there, there is the hand of God. Number two, what does it mean? It means, media please, it means God's ability on a man. God's ability. It means you are functioning in the capacity of God. You are functioning with the ability of God. So, when they say the hand of God is with you, they say, they say that you have been empowered by God to function with and in the capacity and ability of God. The hand of the Lord. In God's ability. No, not, I think on a man or with a man. Okay, on a man. Yeah, comes upon you. The hand of God. When it comes upon you, that's why when we lay hand on people, they recover. Palm and it falls. It is not my hand. There's something that leads my hand to him. The hand. <laughs> I know my wife for sure. When she, she has that grace more than me, when she's praying for somebody to conceive, I'll just be looking at her. When she's praying and the hand shakes, it don't finish. <laughs> I, it's not only for I know once she lay her hand out as we are praying, I'll be looking. Once her hand, once her hand shakes, I know it's done. Something has left her hand to that body. That's the meaning. Are we together? So when they lay hand on you and say you are preserved, they're saying that you are enveloped with God's ability to do what ordinary you can't do in your ability. Next, what is God's ability? It is God's capacity and approval with a man. Ah. It is God's capacity and approval with a man. Meaning that God approves the, 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 the journey because when Ezra left, God approved him to leave. So he left. And then God said, my hand will go to So God, God approved the journey. And then God gave him his capacity to go with him. 
That's why I said, I went to the king, and the king granted me all. He didn't say some. He didn't say some. All what I requested. So if he has requested that I want to pack everybody with me, granted. I want to carry, give me take, 10 helos, granted. Give me 10 Yuma Jeep, granted. I need 50 billion, granted. I need this uh, camels, granted. We are living tomorrow morning, granted. So we will pack everything, granted. So we will go with our children, granted. We are going to go this way, granted. Why? The hand of the Lord. It's God's capacity and approval. Please be conscious of who you are. Sometimes we behave as if we don't know who we are. Somebody threaten you and say, you will see. In the office, if I'm in this office, you will not be promoted. Let me tell you something. I told you again, I'll say it. I am too big to kill a witch. Why I won't kill a witch is, witch is on die. The real thing that possesses somebody to make the person to be misbehaving. They don't die, they are spirit. You don't kill spirit. Are we together? So, a witch or a spirit that, God forbid, okay, the spirit that comes upon me to influence me to misbehave, which is not possible, it's not me, but it's using me. Are we together? So, if I kill me, my body dies and goes to hell, the spirit leaves me, I enter another person, I continue operating. <laughs> yeah? So, the best way to deal with witch, witchcraft, you don't know me, huh? Come. They know. They say, Paul, we know. Jesus, we know. We know. They know. So, what are you waiting for? I when I was in Abuja, one, one, one girl, no brother, one girl for deliverance. I, I've left a lot of things. So I've left deliverance. When I want to understand the Bible better. I left some stuff. And then when I brought the girl and brought her to the office, and then she was, yeah, and then she jacked. When she jacked my clothes, I was angry. You have right to jack my clothes. <laughs> my clothes, you. <laughs> And then I look, look at my eyes, yeah, pam. In less than two minutes, the devil has to leave. Let me tell you, he, the devil knows. There are three people you can't deceive. Three people you can never deceive. Number one, God. You can't deceive God because God is a spirit. <laughs> Number two, you can't deceive the devil. The devil is a spirit. He is not all-knowing. He's not all-knowing. But anything that has to do with his kingdom, he knows. So if you stole this money before I come to church, as if I have m messed up before I'm preaching now, every noise I'm not, he's just saying, he knows. The third person you can never deceive is you. You can never deceive yourself. You know yourself. You know you. Are we together? So the devil knows. So as he touched my clothes, you, no, you can't. Yeah, so if somebody say, let me see, yeah, if I'm in this office, I, don't pray for the person posting. No, the person will be in the office. Your promotion will come. The person will decorate you. <laughs> Why? In the presence of my enemies, a table is prepared. In other words, you are eating, they are seeing, they are angry, but you are eating. Just imagine that, that you, you, give, you gave a junior, your small boy, junior that is three years, you gave him chicken lab, and then you have bingo. Bingo in their dog, dog. And then the dog is lying there looking at uh, Junior. He just is doing the tail. Hey, hey, Junior, if not for your daddy and mommy that are here, I would have collected the chicken. Oh, I would have collected the chicken lap. And then Junior just like, <laughs> And then Bingo is, Junior, you have finished that chicken. I would have finished you now, if not for your parent. My parent are here. Nya, 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 just eating the chicken. In the presence of my enemies, he prepares a table. So it means that they are there watching and you are succeeding. They are there watching you deliver. They are there watching you get married. In fact, out of jealousy, they may not come for your wedding. But if they don't come, they don't, they don't come because it's their choice. But they don't come, the news will reach them that the wedding has taken place. So you don't need to pray for anybody. No. You say, I will not be promoted. That is okay. Go back to your home like Daniel. By the hand of the Lord, I decree my change is sure. My promotion is certain. My case is different. And then relax. They will bring the promotion. Your name will be there. And to pay the person, your rank capacity is the person that will decorate you. Then the person will just decorate you. It's angry. But he's decorating you. He's angry, but he's decorating you. And when he finish, you salute him. He salute you back. We finish. <laughs> when they are 
are there and the thing happened, the testimony is better. When they are dead, who will testify on their behalf? When, when they are dead, when the man is posted, the testimony will not be sweeter. But when he's there and you are promoted, testimony is better. Are we together? When we got married newly, the devil said, I can't be married. For eight months, our marriage wasn't working as far as issue of sexuality and issue of conception was concerned. And then we went to hospital and they told me the problem. When they told me the problem, I looked at my wife. I said, oh, that's the problem. I told the doctor I have the solution. I carried my wife. Bim, 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 bim. We got to the house. I carried my Bible. I opened to Psalm 1, 2, 7, verse 3. I said, the devil, I know. You quoted the Bible for Jesus. He said, he said John, for he shall give his angel charge over you. So it means that you know the Bible. So read it. I opened Psalm 1, 2, 7, verse 3. Lord, children are gift from God and the heritage of the servant. I am a child of God. Number two, I am a servant. My wife is a child of God. She's a servant. Two of us qualify. They will read it. After one week, the woman conceived. After one week. One week. And then they came, bam, 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 bam. We locked the door. We threw away the key. <laughs> Why is the devil? If the devil couldn't stop you yesterday, he can't stop you today. If the devil didn't kill you yesterday, he can't kill you today. I don't know what I'm putting to, but can I say to you, if they didn't bury you yesterday, they can't bury you today. In Kabanda, they the day. And I laugh at the devil any day, any time. Please let me go. Let's go on. Let me. <laughs> okay, so God's ability. Okay, assessing the hand of God. How then do we assess the hand of God? Because the hand of God don't just come anyhow. There is a way to assess it. How do we assess the hand of God? Number one, leave Babylon. What did I say? This Ezra departed from Babylon. Uh -huh. This Ezra came up. From Babylon. Babylon signify sin, signify old life, signify anything that has to do with Pharaoh, anything that has to do with oppression, depression, and satanic. Why promised land has to do with eternity, the promise of God, the future, success, peace, uh, promotion, liberation, and all of those. Egypt has to do with bondage. Babylon has to do with bondage, has to do with slavery, and slavery is under the oppression of the devil. So this Ezra came up from Egypt, so he was a believer. Are we together? The first thing in assessing the hand of God is you have to be his son. You have to be his believer to carry his hand. So leave Egypt. Leave Babylon. You can't be in Babylon and expect the hand of a righteous God to tabernacle with you. It's not possible. Listen, I am too young to deceive you, too promising to deceive you, too old to deceive you. Leave Egypt. Leave Babylon. Listen, you can't go to Shirai and ask God for pregnancy. You come to me to lay hand on you to conceive. It will not work. Let me tell you in black and white. Let me tell you in black and white. You know why? It's not as if I don't have the capacity or God will not do it. No. If God does it, you will give the devil the glory and God will not do it. So he won't. He won't. So the first point of assessing the hand of God is leaving Babylon. This Ezra came out from Babylon. He was already a believer, right? So he came out. So for those that are believers... You are out of Babylon. For those that are not believers, come out of Babylon into the promised land. Into the kingdom. You don't have right to use my name. You don't have right to use my complimentary card. You don't have right to use anything that belongs to me. If you are not connected to me, either by, by marriage or by, 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 by birth, you don't have the right. Can you imagine my wife asking me there, please, can I, can I touch your money? It's not possible. My money is hers. My car is hers. I wish to get my body. My wife, one day I was bobbing my hair. My wife have men, you that you think your body is your body, you are, you are making a big mistake. Oh. One day we are bobbing hair. I thought the hair is already going. So I wanted to bob it very low. As the bob of my wife said, No, 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 it's too low, it's too low. 
Leave it away. I said, are you sure? Leave it, leave it. Bap it as she wants it. <laughs> so the head is her own. How she wants it, bap? Let it bap, let bap it like that. <laughs> are we together? Are we together? So, listen. <laughs> I said, leave it. I told the Baba, no, no, leave it. Oh, she have right. Let her say it as this. So she have right over me while we are married. So by relationship, but no, now I told you before, my wife is the only one that can touch my head. She can touch my head, no anointing. Before my wife, I'm not a pastor. I'm a husband. She can touch my head, nothing happens. You can't hear it. You don't even have authority to touch my head. No other woman can do it, even by joke. Why? No relationship. If at most relationship, pastor, member, relationship, you can't touch my head. What do you carry your hand right here? What in? How? But my wife will touch it. Nothing. Why? There is connection. There is something. Chemistry and chemists. And chemists and chemistry. Something connection. And uh, no. Let's leave it. Let's leave it there. <laughs> so you must belong to him to assess his. Until you are his. You can't enjoy his. <laughs> Simple. That's the summary of the matter. Until you are his, you can't enjoy his. Next, next. How do we assess? Number two, knowledge of God's word. Knowledge. Of, they said this Ezra was well skilled in the five plus the five books of Moses, Genesis to Deuteronomy, where the books are available. The guy was so vast in it, so he knew how to move and what to do. Listen to me. If you want to stand out in this life, please go for knowledge. You see, I hate ignorance like the devil. In fact, the word ignorance is from the word darkness. That has to do anything that has to do with the devil. Ignorance, darkness, and everything. So knowledge itself is a, it can liberate you. But, but the knowledge of God's word is higher. You know why? God's mind is higher than any other mind. So by the time you stay with the word of God, what happens is that the word of God jacks up your faith to God's level. It jacks up your understanding to God's level. Jacks up your thinking to God's level. So when you act, you act like God because you have rubbed mind with God. If you are reading Ken Hagen's book, for example... You may never see Kenneth Hagin, but if you read this book for six months, the spirit of Kenneth Hagin in that book will enter you. Because Ezekiel chapter 2, as I read, the spirit entered me. But behind everything that's written, there is a spirit. Are we together? So as we are, as we are reading that thing, the spirit in it enters you. Behind every music, there's a spirit behind it. There's a woman called um, what, Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. When she sang a song, and then in that album, there's one track, My Love Don't Cause a Thing. Na 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 Na, 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 na. Don't pretend as if you don't know that song. <laughs> that song shook the wall. You know what happened? She paid a witch doctor seven hundred thousand dollars to conjure on the song on that track. So as you are listening to it, it's not the melody, it is the spirit behind the song that is controlling you. That's why very soon you if you are dancing, hey, then get ready. Before you know it, the spirit <laughs> Shabi, you be down for driver, show. I be down for driver, show. What sense? What, what any, is there any sense in that music? But do you know what they did? They went for, <laughs> I will tell you the rest. They went and conjure on that song. Even though, even though the song does not have meaning and make sense. As you are hearing it, the spirit of the song, if your own spirit is not higher than the spirit in that song, the spirit of that song will control you. And as educated as you are, you will find yourself, I'll be down for driver, show. And you are not a down for driver. You are driving Jeep, but you have reduced yourself from a Jeep driver to a down for driver because there is a spirit in a song you are listening to that has confused you and reduced you to a down for driver. Mind the song you listen to. Carry my phone. I can give you my phone. Stay with it for 24 hours. It will play from beginning to the end. If you heard any song. Not just, it's not even any Christian song I listen to. No. Any song I listen to must have a place in my life. My ringing tone has a place in my life. 
my wife's ringing tone that if I, she call, I know she's one. So that I don't miss, even if I'm in a meeting, there's one call I must pick, my wife. So I put a ring tone for her. If you ring, ah, she's one. Oh, I pick. He has a message to me. It's not you that when I'm on your phone, ring it to all my ladies, Bengale, all my ladies, Bengale, 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 Bengale. And then you are depressed. As you are depressed, your son, your phone, your run. All my ladies, Bengale. And then you are depressed the more. All my ladies, Bengale. You remember that other lady? You are depressed the more. And you are oppressed. And you are depressed. But assuming your ring tune is God will make a way when there seems to be no way. And they have denied you promotion. Or then deny you approval for something. And uh, your phone, your ring, bam. It makes a way. Where's it? It will make a way. Ha <laughs> ha. Then you begin to smile. Hey! hey. <laughs> so mind what you listen to. <laughs> mind what you listen to. One day a child was to be delivered. And the man of God prayed for him. The child couldn't, was not, the spirit couldn't leave. And then he, he, got, he went and asked God, what happened? And God told him, the spirit was played in. It ought to be played out. Listen. Particularly you that sleep with earpiece, apart from the danger it poses about maybe shocking you and killing you, when you sleep, your body sleeps, your spirit is awake. So the spirit in the song you are playing is connecting with your spirit while you are sleeping. So the man of God wanted to deliver, the deliverance was, wasn't working. And then God told him, the music was played in. It has to be played out. And then the man of God just slotted in a, a, um, a CD, and then the little volume, pew, and I increased the volume. He added the volume, and in two minutes, the demon left, left. Because the demon was played in. It needed to be played out. Mind the music you are listening to. Especially the young, young ones. Mind the music you are listening to. Because behind, so as you are staying with the word of God, the word of God is wrong. I have told you before, if you want to punish your children, give them Bible to copy. Give them Bible to copy. If the boy misbehave, misbehave, carry Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 5. Buy a exercise book and pencil or Bible. Give him, copy this Bible. As he's copying it, he's interacting with the spirit. And then all of a sudden, the spirit of stubbornness is going. And the spirit of the word of God is entering. The entrance of the word gives us light and understanding. As the word enters, the word is light. And then stubbornness is darkness. As the light enters, darkness will, darkness will pack. There's power in the word. Go for knowledge. The knowledge of the word of God, the knowledge of your career. You are a driver. You enter Air Force with three, there's three, three. And you are 15 years in Air Force. You have not gone for any other thing. Any other thing. I'm sure you are not here. So let me reserve what I wanted to say. Let me reserve it. You are 10 years, 15 years, you have not gone for any other qualification. You say your trade is A police, your trade is INS, and then the INS course you went for Air Force is finished. Let me tell you, life is bigger than Air Force. Air Force is one small organization in the nation called Nigeria. Are we together? And you, 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 they, they, no matter how long you stay with the Air Force, your tenure is 35 years. After Air Force, you call. What are you saying? You were somewhere before you came in. And from here, you go somewhere. You have to develop yourself. Go for knowledge. Number next. Number three. The person of the Holy Spirit. I have to read this one. Ezekiel 37, verse 1. He said, the hand of the Lord. Take note. How do I assess the hand of the Lord? The person of the Holy Spirit. He said, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. So go back to the point. The spirit of God is the spirit behind the written word of God and is the spirit we carry on our inside. When you carry the Holy Ghost with you on your inside, it represents the hand of God. He will tell you what to do. He will tell you what to put in the, in, the, uh, in the contract to be approved. He will tell you which aircraft not to board. He will tell you which car not to buy. This car is very fine, but the engine is bad. Bankani, I cannot see it, but I've seen it. Don't buy this particular car. The Holy Ghost will tell you. He has told you before you refuse and you bought the car and the engine knocks after two weeks and you're angry with God. Don't be angry with God. Don't be angry with God. Be angry with yourself. You didn't hear. You didn't listen. You see this person called the Holy Spirit. It's not a dove. It's not a voice. It's not a wing. Wind. It's a personality. It's, it lives in me. It controls my life. 
If I want to be angry with my wife, you say, what? He will tell me, son, what has she done that you have not done to my father that we forgave you? I want to be angry with her. I'm sorry, sir. Baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, stop it. <laughs> See, the Holy Ghost is the most romantic personality you meet. He will tell you sensual styles you never know. You see them, they do, eh, you see them, they, they do face. That say, that say they don't understand what I talk. They call him holy. Don't forget that sex in marriage is holy. It's an act of worship. That's why high men, if in the woman, is the, where we have the word him, him book from. That one is for another day. So the holy, the person of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God is, is represented by the Holy Spirit. If you are, if you are close to him, you allow him to express himself in you sincerely. The word, the comforter that Jesus promised in, in John, in the book of John, is the word paracletos. And the word paracletos stands for strengthener, advocate, uh, uh, advocate, strengthener, um, comforter, standby, intercessor. Seven things the Holy Ghost is to do for us. We carry him, some of us, but he's been sleeping. Just the way Jesus was sleeping in the boat of the disciples and they, they were having issues. They didn't think of going to wake him. They were struggling, they were struggling in their own capacity until when the thing became more than them. They went out, they went with arrogancy. Jesus cares not doubt that we perish. My question is, did you wake me? Did you wake me? He said, yeah, I am sleeping, so leave me to sleep. Jesus is sleeping in the life of many, the same way the Holy Spirit is sleeping in the life of many who have never put him to work. So it's quiet. You want to write an exam, ask him to give you the, the, the answer, the, 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 the question before. He will give you. Just pick your hand out, pick your notes. Stay with him for like one hour. You know, distraction will be coming. But after one hour, you will have locked up. He will begin to speak. I said that you know it's him. Carry your pen and be ticking. He will tell you this and tick. If you, he, to show you that it's him, he will tell you this topic that you will doubt that it will never come back. You will doubt the topic. If you say, tick this and you, you will doubt it. But tick it. You will be shocked when you enter exam hall. Question one, compulsory. Is that subject? Is that topic? The person of the Holy Ghost. We have come a long way with him to know. Number next. Number next. Quickly. Pre prepared and doing uh, a prepared and a doing heart. He said this Ezra prepared his heart to do. When you are ready for what God wants you to do, he gives you his hand to accompany you. Ezra was prepared, was ready to go. God said, take my hand and go with it. So when you are prepared and ready to do what he asks you to do, he will release his hand unhindered to go with you. Simple. Are we together? Number next. Number four. Okay, what? Then what are the benefits of the hand of the Lord? I think that is where we may bring this service to a close. What are the benefits of the hand? We have seen how to assess the hand. What are the benefits? Number one, unlimited access to heavily and earthly, and earthly assets and resources. Unhindered access. He said, I went before the king, and the king granted me all my requests according to the hand of God. So we are saying the hand of God one of the advantages or one of the benefits is it grants you unlimited access to both heavenly and earthly assets and resources. Never fail exam apart from YEC. I've never failed any exam apart from YEC. And I failed YEC because I wrote it in ignorance. I had paper the following morning, 12, 12 in the night I was in the church. That's not how to write YEC. <laughs> Those that understand, understand. <laughs> But after that, no, no exam I've ever failed. What for? In fact, I've forgotten anything called failure. I, de I don't have it in my, my mind. Sincerely. I don't believe in it. No, I see it's not there. But I don't believe in it. Why? That's an access. When I'm going for anything, I go with his hand. With the, the, uh, knowing that it's not me, but there's someone that I'm going with. So if you want to assess his hand, the, the benefit is the, the, that it grants you unlimited access to heavenly and earthly assets and resources. He said, the king granted me all. I like the word. How can you table 20 things and they will grant all? Haba, God must be involved. Number next, number two. Enjoying divine favor. Enjoying divine mercy. Enjoying divine spirit. Enjoying divine grace with God and man. 
God was with him. Man favored him. No wonder Jesus said in Luke, in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God. Amen. He didn't need the favor of men. But men have no, need, they have no choice that they favor him. Are we together? Are we together? Somebody say amen. He didn't need the favor of men. Listen to me. Let me, say, let me speak to somebody. If you get to a point in this life, you will not need the money of men, but they will give you money. You will not need the favor of men, but they will give it to you. Uh, no, somebody is not hearing me. Okay, let me speak to myself. I'm getting to a point where I may not need money, but be, I can't refuse money. If you get to a point in my life that I will just think that I need money, and then my account will be ringing, pam, 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 money coming from everywhere. It will come to a point as I grow in life that I may not. One day, Paul said, what you are bringing is not as if I need it, but because of what I carry to work for you. If I'm to go and give this our commander now, I want to give him 5,000. What is 5,000 to him? That's what we're saying. But you see, because of the favor he carries, I have no choice than to give. That's what we're talking about. I may not need it, but it's just, it just keeps flowing, 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 flowing. And then you two, we shall be sending it out. Are we together? I have received resources to a point that I say, oh, resource. Just keep going. I say, come, go. Come, go. Number next, number three, operating all functioning with the capacity of God. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do, give me NIV. Uh, no, sorry. Give me amplified. I like this amplified. I like it amplified so that it will be heard by everybody. I have strength for all things. Look at that. I have strength for all things in Christ. Who empowers me? Bam, in bracket. I am ready for anything. Bam. And equal to anything um, through him who infuses inner capacity. Kai. He is my battery charger. Who infuses inner strength into me. Then he said, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. You don't understand? <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the point. <laughs> Go back to the point quickly. So we are saying it is functioning in the capacity. Go back to the point, media. That's why we need a laptop in that place so that they can be switching up immediately. I understand what it is. I have only one laptop. And it's not easy to switch from Bible, from passage to the message. But very soon I'm sure we're going to have a laptop for you guys. Don't worry. So operating or functioning with the capacity of God. Because when God sends you on an errand, he gives his hand to go with you. And then you enjoy his ability and enjoy all that you need to have. Number next, number four, I think that should be the last. Is, yeah, number four is assessing the right key and needed people. Give me that verse 28 of Ezra. I like it. I want us to read that one. And then we'll look at it. He said, and... Okay, the B part. So I was encouraged as the hand of the Lord was upon me. And I gathered leading men, meaning people that I need, needed people, resource people, people that were willing, loyal people, capable people, willing people. I gathered them of Israel and to go with me. Go back to the point. So we are simply saying, if the hand, one of the benefits of the hand of God is it will help you to assess the right people and the needed people. Maybe you are looking for a house help, and then the hand of God is upon you, will lead you to the right lady who will not carry your 2,000 and put in her skin tight and cover it and say, Madam, I don't go, search me, I don't carry your money, Madam, I don't go. And in her skin tight inside, your 2,000 era is hidden inside. God will lead you to a person who will be honest with you, who will serve you, and I will hear this morning in our Bible, in our Sunday school, who will serve you sincerely, with integrity, and with joy. As a commander, God will, come, will connect you to staff officers and men that will be sincere and loyal to you. As a pastor, God will connect you with elders and leaders that will be so sincere and honest to you. That is the meaning. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, that is one of the things you will enjoy. Let's stop here. Let's bow our head because I want us to pray a few prayers. So please, let's bow our head. Talk to God. Before we stand, just talk to God. Respond to him in a moment before we stand to pray two, more, two prayers and then we're out of this place.
Talk to him. Just respond to him, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to my heart. Thank you for speaking to my heart. Thank you for your hand. And then if you are here, you know, you have never given your life to him. Therefore, you cannot enjoy his hand. And you want to leave Babylon. Please, just lay your right hand on your chest. Let's pray with you. If you have never given your life to Christ, and you want to do so, get me clearly, please. If you have never given your life to Christ, and you want to leave Babylon, to enter this kingdom, so that you can assess his hand, let place your right hand on your chest. And say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me so much, for dying for me, being buried, and he rose for my sake. You have saved me. Thank you for saving me. Today, I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe with my heart. I confess you with my heart as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and take the center stage of my life. Satan, pack out and live my life. I am for Jesus and Jesus is mine. Lord, clean my name from the book of damnation and write it in the last book of life. Thank you for saving me. I confess now that I am yours and you are mine. I have left Babylon into the kingdom. Therefore, I have access to your hand. Father, I pray for these ones. May your salvation, may your hand upon them stand the test of time as my own salvation is standing the test of time. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please, let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. And say after me, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, let your hand, please, church, can you respond? My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, let your mighty hand that will defend me against any other hand come upon me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. Let your mighty hand in the name of Jesus is our year of the hand of the Lord. Let your hand come upon my life. Let your hand come upon my business. Let your hand come upon my career. Let your hand come upon my, my, my journey. Let your hand come upon my health. Let your hand come upon my wife, upon my children, upon my academies. Let it come upon my children where they are not doing well. Let your hand come upon them in the name of Jesus, where I'm lagging behind, let your hand come upon me. In the name of Jesus, in my job, let your hand come upon me. In my marriage, let your hand come upon me. In my ministry, let your hand come upon me. In my vision, let your hand come upon me. In my life, let your hand come upon me. In my career, let your hand come upon me as I drive. Let your hand come upon me as I fly. Let your hand come upon me in all I do Iyabada Katada Ishabada Inkelebada the hand of the Lord. If the hand of the Lord is with a man, that man cannot be stopped, that woman cannot be hindered. Upon my pregnancy, let your hand come upon me. Upon my womb, let your hand come upon me. Upon my loins, let your hand come upon me. Upon my eyes, let your hand come. Iyabade Kelebadosa, Jabade Kanta, Rabados Kalabada. Child of God, I wish you are praying. I wish you are praying. Let your hand come upon me against witches. Let your hand come upon me where I don't have power. Let your hand come upon me as I go out. Let your hand come upon me as I sleep. Let your hand come upon me as I travel. Let your hand come upon me. Let it come upon my investment. Let it come upon my investment. Let your hand come upon my investment. Let your hand come upon my investment. Let it come upon my brain. Let it come upon my talent. Let your hand come upon me like never before child of God pray let it come upon my children they, they will not be wayward let your hand come upon my children that they will not be wayward let your hand come upon my womb that I will not have miscarriage I will not have miscarriage let your hand come upon me yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Let it come upon my investment, my father, that I will not suffer, suffer loss. Let your hand come upon me like never before. Yamban Talaba. Shabadaka. Jibadanka Libada. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Are you rising? Are you rising? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Say after my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, let your hand pull me. Let your hand lead me. Let your hand make me unhindered and unstoppable. In the name of Jesus, will you pray that prayer in my place of work? I am unstoppable in the chaplaincy. I am unstoppable in the air force. I am unstoppable to the kingdom of devil. I am unstoppable in Kabadada, in Legico. I am unstoppable in Lagos. I am unstoppable in Nigeria. I am unstoppable in Africa, I am unstoppable globally. Child of God, pray. Let the hand of God lead me like never before. Let the hand of God lead me like never before. Let the hand of God lead me like never before. Let the hand carry me to go. Carry me to go. Carry me to go. Let the hand carry me. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Finally, Holy Ghost, I'm sorry. We are one minute to say finally when I'm leading prayer. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. Next prayer point. He has one before. I should never say finally when I'm leading prayer because he's one leading, not me. Next prayer point, we're talking about favor. You're going to pray, Lord, from today, my life will be led by favor. There will be no struggling. Anywhere I go to, I will be favored. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Favor speakers on your life. I am favored before my commanding officer. I am favored before the divinity. I am favored before men. I am favored before, men. I am favored before women. I am favored on every side. I am favored. I am favored. I live in the favor of God. I live in the favor of God. I live in the favor of God. In the name of Jesus, I live in the Favor of God, he a capa de da da, he ja ja ja, 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 he ja ja ja. Thank you, Father, and with better in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Please, everybody, please lift up your two hands, Father. Our hands are lifted to you. Take our hand and lead us. From today, may we be led by your hand. In the name of Jesus, may we be directed by your hand. In the name of Jesus, may we be guided by your hand. In the name of Jesus, Lord, hold our hands. Carry us in your wings. And that will fly on eagle's wing without hindrance. Without hindrance. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your lives from today. Whatever your hand does, it shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing your hand will write, you shall succeed. In the name of Jesus, from today, you are grace for favor. You are grace for favor. You are grace for favor. In the name of Jesus, if you believe that, shout a louder amen.